Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Seidel and the rest of the third grade teachers. We're here again to do a fairy tale for you, but first I just wanted to talk about why you think that we're doing this for you each week. And there's actually three reasons why we decided to do these together. The first one is because we care about you. We wanna make you smile, that's most important. The second reason is it's a team building for all of your third grade teachers and it makes us smile with each other. But one of the most important reasons we do this is because it's part of our third grade curriculum. Folk tales, that's one of our units in reading. And a folk tale is a story that's usually told orally, like using your words and using your mouth um, to teach people about life and about morals and about doing what's right. There are different types of folk tales. There are fairy tales and fables, myths, legends and tall tales. So the last two, week, two weeks, we've been doing fairy tales and I'm hoping that you can remember some of the elements in a fairy tale, like once upon a time, happily ever after, commonly is the number three, three magic beans or three wishes or three little pigs. Uh, magic, elements of magic are in a fairy tale, like the wolf can blow down a house. So today we're gonna do another fairy tale for you. And this one's going to be the three Billy Goat Scruff, one of my favorites. And I'm hoping that you know what GOAT stands for. G-O-A-T, greatest of all time. And you know, cause your third grade teachers are the greatest of all time. So watch this next fairy tale coming up because it is totes my goats. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats who went up over a hill to find something to eat. They all went by the name of Gruff. There was the littlest billy goat Gruff, the middle billy goat Gruff, and the biggest billy goat Gruff. On the way over the bridge, what, or under the bridge, was a cascading stream of water. And there also was an ugly troll with really big eyes and a long pointy nose. First to come over the bridge was the littlest Billy Goat Gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Who's trip trapping over my bridge? It's me, the littlest Billy Goat Gruff. I'm just crossing the bridge to find something to eat. Not so fast, because I'm going to gobble you up. No! Wait until my brother comes. He's right behind me. He's way bigger than I am. Well, bigger is always better. Go ahead and cross the bridge. Chip, 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 chip. So the littlest billy goat went over the bridge and found something to eat. Then came the middle billy goat over the bridge. Treat, trap, treat, trap, treat, trap. Who's trip trapping over my bridge? It's me, the second billy goat gruff. Not I'm going so over the hill to eat a lot of grass with my brother. Not so fast. I'm going to gobble you up. No, don't take me. Wait for my older brother. He's even bigger than me and way more tasty. Bigger is always better. Go ahead and cross the bridge. Treat, trap, treat, trap, treat, trap. So just then came along the biggest billy goat gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Who's trip trapping over my bridge? It's me, the big billy goat gruff. Not so fast, I'm gonna gobble you up. I don't think so, I've got two horns and I'll push you off that bridge. Bring it on, billy goat. So that's what the biggest billy goat did. He knocked that troll right off the bridge and- Oh no! Then he went across the bridge to join his brothers. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Day, eating the long green grass. And they lived happily ever after. The end.